Welcome to the Brad and Taylor Show. Today we have Linda Sopko. You're listening to the Brad and Taylor Show, a podcast that inspires entrepreneurs to pursue their passions. We're sitting down with some of the best to learn how they got started and some lessons they learned along the way. Hey, Linda. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. How are you? We're good. Doing good. Doing good. Well, tell us a little bit about you. What do you What do you do? Uh, I'm a realtor here in Jackson, Michigan. Uh, I specialize in residential, mostly first time buyers. Um, I travel a lot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Where do you like to travel to, or just travel for for wherever? Travel for work. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Perfect. And when you go there, I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Well, uh, when you were uh, younger, is this what you had planned for your future? Or what'd you, what'd you plan? No, uh, I was going to be a world famous musician and live in France. So <laughs> nice. Well, did you do any of that? Uh, no, no. I, I was a musician for a really long time. I'm not oh, yeah? anymore. Uh, and I'm fluent in French, but I've never been there. So, well, maybe soon enough, soon enough. Well, yeah, how'd you get into real estate? Um, well, I, I was, I call it a mall rat. I was in retail for years and years and years. Uh, I got a divorce and I couldn't live on that income. So I went out and got my bachelor's degree in business management. Uh, honestly, I think because of my age, I, I didn't get in anywhere. I sent out hundreds and hundreds of applications. Uh, so I had to figure out how to do something for myself. So I took the jump and, uh, Counted on my savings and started real estate. That's awesome. How's your first, uh, how long have you been in it? Um, almost three and a half years. Nice. How'd your first year go? Uh, not bad. I broke even. Nice. So I hey, that's, good. that's good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can't complain there. How'd your, uh, how's it gone since then? Did you start on a team or did you uh, go to start solo? Uh, I was, I was solo. I've never been on a team. Uh, I started at Century 21. And I had my first contract, I think, two months after I started, nice. and I've just kept going ever since. That's awesome. Good for you. How'd that tr- <laughs> first transaction go for you? Was it pretty smooth, or were there some learning curves in there? How did, how did it go? Oh, there was a, a huge learning curve. Yeah. <laughs> so I asked lots of questions. I got good advice. I got bad advice. So that first one could have been so much better, um, and it was actually a house for my son, so <laughs> <laughs> he, he loves me. Uh, it doesn't hold it all against me, but <laughs> <laughs> that almost makes it better in a way because it's your son. You have a little bit of flexibility with that because he knows you're newer, but at the same time, it's your son. So you want to make sure it's a good fit and everything works out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a story for that. Um, he, we closed on his property. Um, he didn't move in until about three weeks later, he started moving in and the next door neighbor's house, a uh, tree fell on his house. So oh. He got a brand new roof anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Man. That's crazy. That I know crazy. you mentioned um, you got some good advice and some not so good advice when you first started. Tell us a little bit about that, starting with the good advice. What kind of um, stuck with you throughout the years? Um, don't tell people that I don't know. Uh, you're meeting somebody and, and you're supposed to be the expert and they ask you a question. You say, I don't know. <laughs> you, you would say, um, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> yeah. And, that helped a lot because it gave me a minute to go and find out what I needed to find out and learn new things so I could do it. So that was good. What about some not so great advice that you maybe um, received when you first started? <laughs> uh, I think the worst one was, uh, oh, they're going to go FHA. You don't really need to do an inspection. <laughs> oh. They'll do that. So that was not a good move because uh, obviously the that first it was my the first house I sold um there was a lot of problems afterwards that had to be fixed because of that list none of the appliances worked none of this worked and yeah wow oh man (laughs) Man. what is the worst property you've been to uh there was a it wasn't a foreclosure but it was not in the greatest neighborhood I went to meet my clients to go through it and uh, there were broken windows in the front and I was leery about going in there at all because I didn't know what was going on, but we did. We went inside and someone had thrown a brick through the windows and we just didn't know if anybody was there. We just kind of looked around and left. (laughs) So yeah. Did you end up selling that one? No, No. mm -mm, not at all. (laughs) 
I know those ones are kind of scary, if, especially if you're walking up and you're kind of on edge to go in already. Yeah. You just have that feeling. I don't know. Is someone going to pop out? <laughs> <laughs> you, you just don't know. So there's, there's squatters everywhere. So yeah. what kind of goals do you want to accomplish finishing out this year and going into the next? Uh, I would love to get some more listings. So I don't really push for it. And I'm, I'm just no let people know it's out there if they, if they want it. So yeah, yeah for sure. What's your That's favorite way to market right now? Um, I have a Facebook business page, mm-hmm. so I, I, I don't put anything on there like, Oh, look, I sold this home and I did this and I did that. I just put information out there. Yeah. Try to awesome. keep it fun. Yep. Yeah. I can't complain there. Yeah. The information marketing. That's awesome. I like it. If you had to start over today, what is one thing you would change knowing all you know now? Um, I'm not sure there's a whole lot I would change. Um, one of the things I, w- I wanted was to have a mentor and to be able to, you know, you're going on a, a showing appointment. Can I go? Can I do this? Can I do that? And I didn't get that. So I ended up working for myself. So I called lenders and met, met with lenders and got information. I met with home inspectors and I just did a lot of research that way. And I think that's actually a really good way to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Especially if you don't have someone that you can kind of shadow that, I mean, mm-hmm. a mentor is obviously ideal, but the way you went about it is really helpful. Is there uh, a, yeah, the, I'll go ahead. The uh, agency or the brokerage that I'm with now is, is pretty independent and everything you do, you're responsible for everything. So it was a good move on my part originally because I could just trans, transit right into there with no worries. Yeah. That's um, awesome. That's awesome. Is there uh, what's your favorite book you've read? Uh, girl, wash your face by Rachel Hollis. So it's pretty inspirational for keeping you motivated on keeping on your track. I like it. I like it. Have not read that one. Um, awesome. How can people get a hold of you? Um, I have uh, my Facebook business page, which is at Linda Sapco Realtor. I have a website, Linda Sapco Realtor.com. Uh, my phone number and email and everything is, is all over the internet. So, oh yeah. Yeah. It's easy to be, uh, easy to find the phone number, especially when it's, uh, you're trying to be found all over the internet. So true. <laughs> <laughs> Understand that one completely. Well, Hey, thanks for coming on and sharing your story with us today. Well, thanks for asking. I appreciate it. Of course. Are these working? All right. There we go. Oh, there we go. I think they're working. Should we tell oh, them? Uh, mine keeps falling. It doesn't like my voice. What do we got to tell them? Subscribe. Subscribe. What do we do? We got a point at it. Hey, I think there's a subscription button. Like it might be, it might be there. It might be right there too. Somewhere. Somewhere. Find it. It's red. Yeah. It's and red. it's blue. It's green. I don't really know. It's, it's a color. This mic isn't even attached. Did you plug these in? Well, I guess. Uh, I wonder if they can hear us. Yeah. I wonder if they hear us. Well, we should probably tell them if, if they can hear us. We should probably tell them also give us a five star review for listening to on Apple. That's cool. Five, five star stars, review. guys. Share it with everybody they can think of. We won't but, take four stars. I mean, I don't even think these are on. I mean, this no, is, I don't think this is working. This is not working. Yeah.